What's happening peeps and peep pants? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the Gamma Quadrant Battle Zone. Now, um, if you go on the triple testing server and you go to Deep Space Nine, so the hard bank right here, there is going to be an option to uh, take the wormhole to the Gamma Quadrant. Now, I haven't been there, to be honest. I just saw this option. I just saw that the... Uh, all right. I just got an accolade. Um, I just saw that there was a patch on Triple. So I'm like, yes, there might be, you know, the new Battle Zone might, might be there. So I went to DS9 and I got that text uh, popped up and I just got the accolade. So that's definitely awesome. Why aren't my bridge officers there? Man... All right, so we are here. We got the her. We got some new screens right here. Uh, Hulk invasion. So time remaining twenty-five minutes. So we got twenty-five minutes to do something, and then all oh, the Hulk are going to come here. All right, so we're seeing some kind of depiction right here: red, blue, uh, green. Uh, Romulan Klingon Federation, maybe. <laughs> uh, might be interesting. Uh, why am I going high right there? Um, all right, so let us go to the Federation part, or even if it is a Federation thing. I'm guessing it's not a Federation thing. Uh, so we got this new map right here, and it, all right, so whenever you open a map, it's going to open this. Uh, all right, so we got another accolade. All right, those things are piling up. Uh, so we got this new thingy right here. Work with others, Captain, to complete operation in each sector. Finish these, uh, finish these to trigger a major Herc invasion. So uh, these are just... All right, so these are just... These are not part of, like, Federation Klingon and Romulus. These are just depictions of, like, different parts of... Uh, I'm guessing missions that you can do to progress these things to unlock these uh, locks right here to uh, trigger this Hulk invasion thingy. So we got Planetary Assault, 1 out of 10, uh, Sinister Gathering, and Break the Circle, and progress to the next reward tier, uh, earn more rewards as you complete operations. Tier 1 rewards. For participating in Gamma Quadrant Battle Zone Operation, you will earn 90 Dilithium and 5 Gamma Marks. Gamma Marks? That's new. What are they talking about here? Um, do we get, like, new reputation? One, two... Uh, competitive, Lucari, Temporal, Terran, Iconian, Delta, Undyne, Dyson, Romulus, Nukara, Task Force. No. What is this? Planetary Assault, Kuril Prime. Kuril Prime. All right. Uh, do we have... They're talking about giving us marks, right? Gamma marks right here. So I'm thinking new reputation somewhere, but it's maybe not implemented in this version of the Tribbles testing server. Uh, I kind of need to set up my tray and my bridge officers. Oh, that sucks. Can I not do loadouts, please? Oh, all right. Loadouts works. Nice. Uh, but it's not up here. Okay, so I need to remove this one and just basically fire everything at um, at my bridge officer. Oh, that's going to suck, but... All right. Oh, wait a minute. IQ. Um, planetary assault. Is it is a player respond to the number four? Okay, so... Basically, accept and wait for the people to show up as well. So I thought this was like a um, a when a, a when a one man mission, but I guess it's not. Um, so we got we kind of need to uh, keep a closer um, keep the timer really close because. That's going to be... Ooh, we got a planet. We're facing forwards. Uh, okay, long-range long sensors have uh, detected a massive swarm of Herc ships approaching this planet. While orbiting defenses will slow them down, we must prevent them from landing. Uh, we, project, we project that the swarm will approach among these three routes to attempt to make planetary landing stop them. 
what are these two thingies right here? Herc landings. A habitat structure? Ooh, what is that? Whoa, who are you? We got Jemadar attack ships. Wow, okay, so we got to recon as well. Or he's not recon, we got help. Uh, probably not a good idea to have the map right there, maybe there, because I need my bridge officers. Uh, okay, though, these guys are out. We got swarmers. Uh, wait a minute, so this thing is on a health, so basically I need to keep this one alive, I'm guessing, the habitat. Yeah, these guys are firing on that ship, on this uh, space. Wow, that looks awesome. Orbital Habitat 2. What are these things? Energy nullifier? Oh man, I, I hate these. I hate pressing all of these buttons. I hope you guys are taking care of that one, the Jem'Hadar. Wow, this structure looks awesome. Kind of looks like Jem'Hadar in its origin. Wait, let me just remove the HUD for you guys. There. Ah, ah, enemy, enemies, enemies. No, not the Nova Fire, these guys. Oh, my ship is too big. My ship is like hitting the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The habitat. Uh, oh man, I have to click so many buttons right there. <laughs> but then they all die in one instance. So that's kind of good, I guess. So this thing is losing health. Can we heal this thing? How many hit points does it have? Okay, hit points are going up. So we can actually heal these things. That's nice. Um, okay, so if anybody wants to play goalie, they can. A little bit of a lag spike there. Sorry about that. Ooh, we got swarmers. That's nice. I like this. Go away, you stupid Herx. So we got... We do have like a cooldown timer. Oh, and these guys have landed. Oh my god. So this is probably not a one-man mission, to be honest. There is no way you can have, like, hold these lines up here. You can actually... This is awesome, actually. You can see, actually see these lines. The, um... The lines that the Herc are going to take... To actually land. Or at least not the lines, the route that they're going to use. To actually land on the planet. Nice, nice, very, very nice. I don't think I'm gonna... Oh, defeat the capital ship? Where's the capital ship? Is it that one? Wait a minute, it's already done. The gym had probably <laughs> got the capital ship. And they uh, destroyed it. Ooh, they're landing really... Uh, oh man, it's about 60-70% right now. I don't think I'm gonna make it on my own on these guys. This is definitely nice. I like this part. Only positioning your ship is going to be a little bit tough on these guys to uh, 
to do to hold these lines and I don't think it's really good to do it on uh, on when one man uh, on one man team there we go yeah yeah that didn't go really good <laughs> all right let's uh, leave the map let's do another one before that timer uh, goes by it was 22 minutes when we entered this. Let's see how far it is. So 15, 16. So what, that's about six minutes that we did on this. All right, let's go to this one. So which one did we do it? Uh, I think it was breaking the circle, right? Uh, no, it was planetary assault. All right. Uh, progress to the next... Wait a minute. So we already achieved tier... Uh, another accolade already we achieved tier one right so we already got 90 dilithium man cryptic if you guys are listening give us some more marks man what is this five marks for like six minutes come on that's not that's not that's not right that that should be more the reward should be more um tier two reward as well so 180 dilithium with 10 marks are you kidding me <laughs> 10 marks Okay, those marks, uh, the amount of marks, they need to go up. Um, yeah, those things are definitely need to go up. All right, we are going to do the um, the red one. The red one, breaking the circle. Okay. Um, just a little bit of info on me, guys. This is not the way I normally sound like. There is something going on with my, with my voice. Another accolade um all right yeah there's something going on with my voice my throat really hurts when i'm talking so you know lots of tea and all that um with honey and you know uh ginger and lemon and stuff like that it's all going in but still not 100 percent uh so we have the other run right here this is breaking the circle comet all right let me just go don't know what these uh, accolades are. Um, maybe those accolades are just like uh, the sector blocks that you explore in the Gamma Quadrant or the Beta Quadrant. Um, you know, like back in the days, if you guys <laughs> haven't made any new fresh characters, each sector block that you explore, you get like Spock saying like, you know, this sector belongs to that, that. And with the Romulans, you get like, you know, other kind of stuff. You get Sila, I believe. So that's that's awesome. So what is this? Uh, go that. Kill this guy. The Horc Swarm are cycling the Dreadnought. They're punching through the swarms so that the Dreadnought's targetable. Be warned. When you attack a swarm, it will turn the attention to your ship. Try to concentrate your fire and pick up swarms so they can uh, get an opening on the Dreadnought. All right. That's awesome. Let me do a demo record on this. This might be fun. Um, Herc test map. Uh, Herc cover the structure. Wow, look at how many swarms there are. Guys, I'm going to give you guys a tip for these swarmers. Oh, shit. I uh, need this thing. Uh, for the swarmer, oh, that's the wrong button. See, I hate clicking everywhere. For these swarmers, I'm gonna give you guys a small tip that I think might be interesting. Uh, use mines. They, all of these swarmers right here, you got this entire armada of swarmers. They're basically going to go after your ship. They're basically are going to uh, follow your ship around. So my advice on you guys, and I'm definitely going to invest on myself in a couple of like, look at these swarmers right here in mines. Oh man, be fired, Will. It's not good. You're gonna, you're gonna aggro everything. Yeah, look at what they're doing. They basically are... Ooh. 
They basically are following you around the whole time. Do I have a torpedo on my aft? I don't know. Guys, if I die, that has to do with me uh, not setting up my uh, character for this thing. Because I'm excited. I'm excited to actually come here. And show everybody this thing. Look, all of these guys are following your ship. So if you drop mines, they're basically are going to be uh, vaporized. Destroy the cabinet. Oh, so I can basically... Okay. I thought I had to, like, clear these guys out. Sorry. My... Oh, my bad. Yeah, these warp core breaches, these are really awesome. Uh, they basically destroy my ship <laughs> really fast. All right, so that's... That's me. Um... So I have to destroy this capital ship, all right. That's the objective right now. And you guys weren't helping me out. Why do I have a carrier if the pets are not out? Okay, so we can definitely target these guys. DRB. Go, go, go. Wow, what was that? Warp core breach, warp core breach, warp core breach. Yeah, 27k, 27k, 3, that's, what is that, 50, 60, 60k hull? Yeah, if we were like three or four people right there in this map, in this instance, that would definitely be uh, better. Could you guys also do a little bit of work, you guys? Hanger pets. Or something like either in the vicinity of tractor beam repulsor or eject more plasma. Oh, that was gonna be awesome. Because if you use eject more plasma, then these guys are basically going to be like, you know. Staying uh, behind you the whole time. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, let's hit the capital ship a little bit. I'm too far away. Oh, 17 seconds. I don't know if I'm going to make this. 13. Torpedoes, go! Torpedoes, go! 3, 2, 1, no! Alright. Well, we did not... Um, did not have the chance to destroy these guys. But, I mean, it's fairly simple. These guys are uh, following um, the capital ship. They're like, you know, at the uh, surrounding the capital ship just to make uh, so you guys cannot hurt the capital ship. And so you basically need to pick those up first and then, you know, make a run for the capital ship. Nice capital ship. Capital ship is like the main word that I'm going to use on this video. <laughs> and my ship is busted. All right, so we did the red one, breaking the circle. I'm thinking that all of these systems right here have like different, um, different events, different uh, battle zones. So this is going to be something that has to do with the capital ship that are surrounding it. And I do not even know what this is. It's kind of weird that... Sinister Gathering, Talos, Telos Sector. All right, let's see what that is all about. We need to keep in mind that in six minutes, the Hork are going to invade. We did press engage, right? I think so. This is awesome. So we got a little small map. 
right here on the top left. And it goes away when the map is not there. Oh! <laughs> that is uh, that is part of the new queue. It's a new feature, or at least not a new feature. A feature that's been around for like two years now. They're not... Um, the Hork are swarming the debris in this sector and gather resources. What? That's weird. Our long range scans show that there's a Hork capital ship in here somewhere. We should take the opportunity to destroy it before they can repair it. Uh, the Hark, we are forcing the ship with nearly impenetrable crystalline armor, but we can make a special torpedoes. What? Using the material from the asteroids, the same material the Hark are collecting. Shoot asteroids, break, uh, shoot asteroids, break off crystal fragments, then fly near the fragment to collect them and make seeker bombs. Use the seeker bombs to destroy the Hark capital ship. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the capital ship. Uh, there is an asteroid. Ah, oh, these guys again. There are asteroids everywhere, I'm guessing. What are these? Assembly. Okay, so these are... Unpenetrable? What? Oh. It was... What was that? He just pushed me aside. So we need to take care of these asteroids right here, right? Asteroid crystals. Could you... There we go. So these are the asteroids that we need to uh, gather stuff from. Uh, beam fired will give me those. So, do we take the bombs that they're talking about? Asteroid crystal. Oh, a little bit of a lag. Sorry. Okay, so we are tractor beaming these guys to our ship. We got oh we got a we got a teammate. There we go. We got we got a Klingon guy. I'm seeing the uh, crystalline. Um, whoa, asteroids again. I'm seeing the uh, the icon for the crystalline uh, pets that basically follow you around. Um, all right, that's nice. So no, okay. So wait a minute, I got a new icon right here. What is this? Destructible project, a high uh, area of effect damage plus dot damage over time. All right, so. These ships, yeah, they talked about this. These are immune to everything. But when you use this thing right here, Seeker Bomb, all right. Oh, wow, okay. That's awesome, 45%. Uh, okay, I only have a certain amount. So I basically need to destroy more of these torpedoes, or these torpedoes, more of these asteroids to actually kill all of these all right all right all right all right i'm getting my ass whooped right here uh we got Gemini, probably because the other guy the klingon actually left so that's that's nice i'm guessing um what else what else okay i got a minute and 30 seconds to destroy asteroids make those uh bombs so I got one, two right here, go up. Now you definitely need like a uh, fast maneuverable ship to do this. There it goes. The tractor beam. We got more asteroids that way. You are fighting it. Okay. It's scaled down right now. 
Did we grab it? We did. You stupid guys, I hate you guys. Alright, so uh, we got a couple of crystals everywhere. I don't think I'm gonna make it though. Uh, where is my evasive maneuvers? E evasive maneuvers. Come here. Oh, we're already there. So these things basically only get destroyed by these seeker bombs that you need from the asteroids. Okay. Oh, where you go? Where's it? Oh, the timer, timer ran out. All right. So that is uh, that's the second one, right? Or is it, no, that's the third one. We actually covered all three of them. Nice. All right. Let's see if the Herc are invading right now. Ooh. Close, all right. Just in time, right here. Is it gonna be like a map-wide queuing system or something in that nature? Here we go, in three, two, one, and... What? Nothing? Oh, wait. For your assistance in the skirmishes, we have proven, uh, provided you with some marks. We got dilithium. Where are the marks? I don't have any marks. Probably because it's not there yet. All right. So we got time remaining a minute and 40 seconds. To do what? It says here we got a new window. The Herc are gathering their forces and will return soon. Herc re uh, returning in a minute. Oh, okay. Okay, I like this new um, new window popping up, giving us the option with a cool uh, cooldown timer, with a uh, timer running out. I actually want to go to these nebulas. That's awesome. Ancient Dominion Station. Definitely going to go there first. <laughs> oh, man, my time is going to run out. Uh, Transwarp. Transwarp, go. I want to see the old ancient Dominion station. Um, the Dominion uses like space stations? That's new to me, information wise. 38, 36. Yeah, I think I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to make it. 30 seconds. Oh man, if my to if my uh, sleep stream uh, runs out, oh no, it's good. All right, it's good. Yes, ancient Dominion Station. Uh, Twelve, ten, nine. Stop. Go away. Go, go, go. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? This is like an asteroid. What is? The thing it went away. Where is the thingy? Where is the massive Herc invasion? What is what is up with this? Okay, so um Maybe there are not a lot of, a lot of players doing the same mission. That's 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 a little bit of a letdown. Come on. <laughs> I wanted to do this. Anyway, it's kind of like uh, hypermass, breaking the circle, hypermass. Let's see what this is going to do with us. Um, man, I wanted to see what the um, invasion would be all about. Because this, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, um, for what I've been doing right now, I'm just playing this thing and it's like, it's leading up to the Herc invasion, right? So you got like the preliminary, um, I butchered that word, but you guys know what I mean. It's leading up to like the big invasion. What is this again? Is that the, the, the gravity well? Punch through. Can I leave? 
I probably, if I leave, I'm probably going to get like a uh, an one hour ban or something like that. But to say the least, I mean, I do enjoy this thing. And these guys are right at the event horizon thingy. I'm just going to leave. Hopefully I'm not going to get a ban. But just to recap with you guys, uh, do I have a ban? Yeah, I do have a ban. My god, a 30 minute ban, all right. Um, a lever penalty, <laughs> nice. Because I left the, um, the queue that was going on in that particular map instance, I have a lever penalty. So that sucks for me. So I cannot do any more of these things, but I mean, it's a good that it's implemented there, right there because you don't want people joining and leaving. So that's that's a good part on Cryptic and doing a really good job. I definitely recommend that uh, to continue doing the same deal. Anything else? Place of interest for me currently? Um, I'm not seeing any um, places where you can actually go. Let's go to these clusters. I mean, that station, that kind of reminds me of that episode where uh, Worf got, um, got captured, uh, where he needed to fight off like waves, or not waves, uh, when he needed to fight like Jem'Hadar to, to then actually never saw a Klingon fight before. So, uh, where he needed to prove himself. Um, you guys know what episode I mean, right? From Deep Space Nine uh, with Garak, uh, where they actually rescued Bashir from the Jem'Hadar. Uh, where he needed to fight in that ring, so each time he uh, got beaten down, he had to press the, that, that, that tower thingy plate on top, when it, like, give out, gives out, like, you know, the light thingy. All right, um, so... That kind of reminds me of that uh, asteroid. Uh, what's it called? The um, Ancient Dominion Station. For the rest, I'm not seeing any planets or anything like that where you can actually physically go down. Now, these are probably like placeholders for like the upcoming missions that they're going to give us. With the Dominion basically like, you know, go to New Bajor and then start a particular mission. Because I'm not seeing anything in the term of, like, structures or anything like that. These are just, you know, systems as it is currently. And we are at the... Ne oh, this is awesome. Look at that. This is that nebula. Oh, screenshot moment right here. Oh, that's awesome. That is cool. That is very cool. So we got, uh, just to summarize what you guys um, saw. So we got, in this entire sector block, we got three different uh, blocks of, like, you know, um, like, systems where you can actually go physically with your ship to, uh, I wonder if you, can you also queue? So you don't have to, yeah, we can. Break the circle times four. We have one, two, three, four for the Herc Planetary Assault and our Sinister the Gathering. Okay, so you could queue up through the queuing system as well. Um, so you can basically just check mark one of these so you don't have to physically go here. Or you can physically go here to the map and uh, when you are in the map, you're basically going to have that that uh, option to to enter this thing. And depending on how big your team is going to be, the tougher the enemies are going to be. Because uh, we saw in like the previous one that I did, uh, there was an option saying like you are fighting at level X. I think it was 61 or something like that because there were two of us. He was like 61 and I was 60. And am I still 60? Yeah, I'm still level 60. So at that you know, that scales up. The enemies are definitely going to be tougher. And I'm thinking because if the enemies are going to be tougher, the enemies are also going to... Um, the amount of enemies, depending on your team as well, is going to be more or less. Uh, 
So if you have a team of five, you're going to have more enemies. If you have a team of one, you're going to have less enemies. That's kind of like the thing these days in STO. And each time you have three options. Break the circle, sinister gathering, or planetary assault. The last one is not kicking in. I don't know why the Herc invasion is not. Maybe you just, you know, we haven't unlocked it. Because you definitely, there is a lock right here. Maybe we need to do a 10 times this to unlock this. And then you can definitely start off the Herc. But also something new uh, that I saw. Maybe something that you guys want to... Um, Keep in mind that they're also giving us a, a bonus pool of a salvage from salvage boosts. So if you guys haven't had the opportunity to salvage stuff for your character, they're going to give us like these kind of stuff for like, you know, reputation marks and EC and all that. Goody goodies XP and stuff like that. That's going to give you like just a little bit more than the normal traditional amount. They're also going to give us one for R&D. Or not for R&D, for uh, salvage. So we're going to give you guys a little bit extra. Now I don't know where they're probably going to drop from a lockbox somewhere. Currently I do not know where to obtain these on the Drazana station. I have not seen them. But um, this is interesting. To say the least. I wonder how many people are actually going to do this. Because I don't think people are going to do this thing 10 times over and over and over. Within the 30 minute mark that they're going to give us. And even if we do. Do we need more than one of these to be 10 out of 10? To unlock this? Do all three of them need to be 10 out of 10? Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, the Gamma Quadrant Battle Zone is really awesome. Unfortunately, um, I cannot display the 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 major Herc uh, invasion assault thingy um, because I'm basically on my own on Tribble, <laughs> and maybe I'm gonna do an update uh, when there are going to be more people around to do this, or maybe I'm just going to grind out to one of these at level uh, 10 out of 10 <laughs> that might be interesting to unlock one of these and uh, see if the uh, Hork invasion assault is going to kick in anyway guys I'll hope to see you on the next video take care for now later